Good evenings, gentlemen and ladies. I am the old school game snob, and today we are going to be taking a look into some special modifiers. Some of these you have seen around, but they may not be entirely clear. Does ignore target defense, for example, mean that you hit the target every single time? What does piercing do? What does absorb do? Let's take a look at some of those here today. So starting with ignore target defense, this does exactly what it says. It ignores the target's defense rating. What, however, is not that clear is that the chance for a target to get hit or for you to hit a target is not entirely depending on just the defense rating of your target. Your actual chance to hit takes into account your character level, your target's level, your attack rating, and your target's defense rating. Hit chance looks something like this. 200% times attack rating divided by attack rating plus defense rating times attacker level divided by attacker level plus target level. I'm going to dedicate a separate video to this because there is quite a bit to unpack here. But the short version is that removing target defense does help a lot in terms of hitting your target but it's not the complete equation. Next up, we have piercing, which basically gives a percent chance for a projectile to pass through a target and hit a target behind it. This works exactly the same as the Amazon's pierce ability, but differing items will have a differing percent chance of piercing. Here's a closer look at that. Now these piercing bonuses do stack with the Amazon's pierce ability, so something like Razor Tail at 33% piercing plus 67% piercing from the Amazon ability would give a 100% chance to pierce. Next up we have Absorb. This can come in two different formats, either a flat rating such as Thunder God's Viger, which has a 20 lightning absorb or Hellmouth Gauntlets which gives you 15 flat fire absorb, or it can come in a percentage, such as Ravenfrost, which gives a cold absorb of 20%. So basically what absorb does is it reduces damage by the amount of absorb, and then it heals you for the amount of damage that was reduced, both at the same time. So if 100 damage was taken and 25% of it was absorbed, then you would take 25% less damage and also get healed for 25% of that damage, equaling 50 damage that was taken. I'm going to do a more in-depth essay on Absorb because I think there's a whole video just on this topic. But in a nutshell, if you have a very high resistance to a certain element and you also have Absorb, to that element, you can actually end up with healing when you take damage from that element. Take a look at this Venom Lord uh, shooting his spray of fire, his fire breath, which actually heals the character's health. Now this character has no regeneration on her, this is all coming from the damage that is absorbed. Next up we have the Deadly Strike modifier. This provides a percent chance that your character's physical damage will be doubled. Now that is to apply your weapon's physical damage and not its elemental bonus damage. This also works just like Critical Strike, but it cannot be used in combination. Both Deadly and Critical Strikes will be checked if they are present, but they will not be able to apply four times the damage. It would be capped out at two times the damage. Next up we have Crushing Blow. Now Crushing Blow does damage which is based on the monster's current hit points. It does a percentage of damage to the monster which is a percentage of their remaining hit points. So this is most effective when a monster is at full health. Crushing Blow is also different on a ranged weapon compared to a melee attack. On a melee attack, a Crushing Blow will do 1 4th 25% damage to a normal monster and a ranged attack will do 1 8th, that is 12.5% damage. Again, this is relative to the monster's remaining hit points. Now on a boss or a champion monster, this is reduced to 1 8th, that is 12.5% damage on a melee attack and 1 16th damage from a ranged attack. There are multiple items in the game which grant crushing blow percent chance and you can stack these to equal 100% chance of crushing blow. Next up we have open wounds. This applies a bleeding effect very much like a poison effect and the two effects can be stacked and this does damage over time. Open wounds does not stack, it is instead reapplied with a fresh successful hit. The duration for open wounds is 4 seconds, and the damage depends on the character level that is inflicting it. 
The equation for open wounds damage is somewhat complex. It is the attacker level times 9 plus 40 divided by 256 points of damage per frame over 4 seconds, because the game measures time in frames, not in actual seconds. So for example, at character level 10, the damage would be 12.7 per second for 4 seconds for a total of 50 damage. At character level 90, it would be 83 damage per second for a total of 332 damage. Okay, so next up we have Defense versus Missile. This adds an amount of defense, for example in the case of Shaft Stop 250, would be added on top of my defense rating, which is currently 2,301, for a combined total of 2,551. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> ow, 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 my head, math. Now, as you might expect, this applies to missiles such as arrows from skeleton archers, but actually a lot of things do ranged attacks, like the Abyss Knights and the Blood Maggots. The Horror Mages also do a ranged attack, and so do the Dark Souls, apparently. So this got me to wondering, would stacking up a lot of missile defense and armor help me to avoid ranged attacks from these types of monsters? Since as we can see, the Amazon's Avoid ability does indeed do just that. So what I did is I stacked up a Sorceress with 20 points into Shiver Armor, got her defense rating up nice and high, and then I basically stacked every missile defense item that I could find for a combined total of somewhere around 1,500 missile defense, and I tested it out. And well, I'll save you the pain of this experiment, but in a nutshell, I was not able to avoid a single attack from a Dark Soul, even with almost uh, 1,500 missile defense stacked. You would think statistically at least one of those would have been dodged, but no. Anyway, there was not a lot of information on defense versus missiles, honestly, and I had to do quite a bit of testing to come up with those results. Hope you guys find them useful. If you have any more insight, let me know in the comments. Like I say, information is scarce. Next up, we have faster block rate, which works very much like faster hit recovery in that it reduces the time between block animations, allowing you to block more frequently. Blocking is only possible when engaged in melee combat, whilst walking or standing still, running will negate this possibility. Blocking is also depending upon which class you're playing. Different classes have different blocking probabilities, and so I'm going to do a whole video specifically about blocking in the future. Next up, we have Slows Target. Now, in this case, we're looking at Blackhorn's face, which slows a target by 20 this will slow their movement speed or kill them outright. <laughs> so this effect will slow a target's movement speed as well as their attack speed. It can also be stacked with multiple items for a maximum possible slowing speed of 90%. Here we have the Kelpie Snare and Blackhorn's face combined for some really cool slow motion effects or... Was it the peyote? Mm. And a very big thank you to my Diablo subscribers. You guys are rock stars. I appreciate the support. I'll catch everybody in the next video.